Ai vrea să studiezi la o universitate care te ajută să creezi un brand de succes, adică brandul tău, despre asta vorbesc. Vrei să ajungi să ai încredere în tine și să se bată poate companiile pentru tine sau poate să devii un antreprenor de succes și să ai un networking valoros în toată lumea? Dacă vrei să studiezi o specializare de business și vrei să devii foarte bun la asta, te invit să asculti episodul acesta. Sigur, te va interesa. Astăzi l-am alături de mine pe reprezentantul Universității Geneva Business School, care ne va oferi detalii despre cum poți să devii un brand de succes, cum poți să ajungi să faci acei bani pe care tu ți-i dorești, să ai acea independență, să faci ceea ce-ți place, să ai bani pentru hobby-urile tale și pentru uh, timpul uh, tău liber. Așadar, l-am astăzi alături de noi pe uh, reprezentantul Universității Geneva. Hello, Christian! Bonjour! Uh, bonjour! bonjour. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy for, um, for us, Student Consulting, to have you here. I'm happy to be with you and what a wonderful t-shirt you have. I love yeah, it. Yeah, indeed. Thank you, Leah. <laughs> I received a very good gift. <laughs> Um, so, Christian, um, you're representing Geneva Business School mm -hmm. and um, you've started to have some high school uh, seminars, workshops here, to deliver some high school workshops, um, to add value to Romanian kids in, in school, offering this, this uh, branding, personal branding workshops, how to create your business. Um, why you are, are interested um, in the um, Romanian market? Very interesting. Uh, this is the first time we're in Romania and uh, we are discovering this country and it's a wonderful country first of all. And all the kids I have met until today are just smart and fantastic. Uh, we are here in Romania because we have noticed that we are not very well known here and there's a big demand for business schools in, in English language in Europe. So this is why we're here, to make us known a little bit more and that's going to be with the help of people like you. Um, uh, Christian, how are the students that you've met here? Do you believe that Romanian students, they can fit in an international environment? Absolutely. Well, Romania is not part of the European, uh, as, a, as a European country, so of course uh, they will fit because today we're all globalized and Romania has a growing economy. So it's an economy that's going to go worldwide. And I guess that really uh, those Romanian kids today need to have that open mind, to have that knowledge, to have that um, knowledge of different cultures and different business cultures. So I do believe that studying abroad is good for Romanian children. But what I would like, my question is more related to the workshops that you delivered in Romania and the quality of the students that you saw. So how did you find Romanian students? Very bright. Uh, I was surprised for the young age they have. So I have been meeting your 10, your 11 and your 12 students. And the workshop that we have built is, first of all, to give a little knowledge of what is business. Uh, when we talk about business school, usually the question I ask is, do you know business school? Yes. Do you know business? Yes. What is business? It's making money. Aha, uh -huh, but how? And that's when usually I don't have the answers. So those little workshops that we have built on are workshops to make them understand about what is really business. Business is how to drive a company, how to run a company. So we're going to teach all those kids how to run a company in every single and different department, such as finance, such as AR, such as law, and etc. marketing. And those workshops are done so they can realize a little bit and touch a little bit everything of those different activities. You mentioned that you, please, if you have one to add, no, that's no? okay. Thank I, you. Want, I wanted to, you mentioned about HR, about uh, finance. So to understand that at your school, do you offer Bachelor of Business Administration with specialization in finance, in human resources, or what are you offering at the bachelor level? Okay, so uh, we, of course, as a business school, we offer a Bachelor of International Management. That's the name of the diploma. And then we also have a Master of International Management. During that bachelor studies or the master studies, they will learn everything about all those different subjects. But we also offer specialization, majors, if the word is more easy to understand. And uh, for the bachelor, we will offer six different majors. You just have to go into in our website and you have to go, you have to choose, of course, the bachelor program. 
and you will have all the information on the bachelor program, including specialization, including the but requirements. You, you offer already a variety of specialization in business. When they do the major, it's in the third year? No, that's a good question. Thank you. They have to choose a major starting semester two. So that means in the, in the middle of the first year. Usually in business schools, you choose the major for, for the beginning of, se of semester, uh, the second semester, not with us. You will have to start from uh, semester two. That means that you will have even more classes on the major than maybe other business schools. Mm -hmm. um, how do you prepare these kids? Because they are teenagers, they are kids when they're coming to your uh, university. How do you prepare them to be ready for the future job markets? So, from what I've seen already with the kids uh, that I've met in the high schools in Romania, they're already very smart and brilliant. They already have a good idea of what business is, even if they cannot put words on it. And uh, we make it different and we prepare those kids because first of all, uh, we are also Swiss. Swiss are very pragmatic people. So we don't want them to have a big knowledge. We don't want them to make research. We want them to be able to work in companies since day one when they have their bachelor or their master. So we're going to work a lot on business case, on uh, case studies, and that's what is important for us. So this is something similar um, with, as the workshops that you delivered here, where they had they worked in groups. Uh, you you gave them a, um, a task. It's something similar, like working in the project. So let's give a, with the, yeah. Sorry, let's give a little idea of the workshops. One of the workshops that we have and that we offer is about building and creating a company. So I would ask the students to come with a new idea of a company. It can be a product, it can be a service, it can be also an innovation, something that's already existing. And once they have that idea, then they have to see to who they're going to market that, how they're going to market that, and how they're going to make money of it. It's very simple, but this is all about business. And during classes, we will do exactly the same thing, but of course on a much higher level. So more you're gonna progress in your studies, more you will have to be details and specific on that project. But yes, all is about a little bit about gaming because it's everything is gonna be based on that. We're gonna ask them to have business ideas and to make presentations all the time. Okay, this is very good because working in teams and asking them to think about a product or about a business, you push them actually from their comfort zone to think, to come up with something, to understand, to ask questions about, okay, if I would do this business, how would um, be my product? How would I, how I would sell my product? Um, okay, so you, it's a way of getting them in the real life and putting them to think. And as well, I know that you uh, help them with the, um, possibility of industry visit uh, industry visits uh, with the company or, or do you have speakers at the university so as i said we're really pragmatic so we want those kids to just be imagine what is real life in business so for that first of all all our faculty members are up above all professionals we don't have academic teachers ah. so all of them do work in businesses they own and run their own business or they work for major companies so when they come and teach our students they can tell them about theory and then show them how it applies in the day-to-day -day business. So that's the first thing. Uh, having those faculty members being professionals, well, they have a network also. And that will enable them to have guest speakers come in to illustrate what they are talking about. And they will also go and visit other corporations. So if we work on case studies on a company, and if we can take those kids and visit that company, they can understand better and figure out what are we talking exactly about. We want them not only to know the theory, but really to know what is the day-to-day -day life. What I know as well from you is the fact that they can have a rotation on campus because you have a campus in Geneva, but as well one in Barcelona and in Madrid. So they can start in Geneva and if they want, they can switch to another campus because I know that the curriculum is the same in all the three campuses, because correct? I think you, the answer is in the question, yeah, yes. Uh, we have three campuses, so of course Geneva being Geneva Business School, that's our headquarters and historical campus, but we have opened for more than a couple of years also Madrid and Barcelona. Uh, all the programs delivered on the three campuses are exactly the same as you mentioned. 
and yes, there's only one diploma. So of course they can swap campus, they can transfer from a campus to another if they want. I wouldn't recommend that they do that on a semester basis, but yes, they can, of course. This is important uh, because um, having the opportunity to live as well for one semester in another big city, if you want to create your own business or to run a business for another person or to help in a business, it's about an integrating different cultures. Absolutely. So more you are aware of different cultures and you can adapt and you have this flexibility and you build up the muscle of flexibility, more you are going to be successful in the real life. So it's a very important uh, way of teaching and yes. it's an opportunity for students. Also, I would like to ask you, what about um, um, the, the, inter the number of the international students? How international is your school? We are the most international school in the world. No, I, I want to be humble, but I think we're close to that. Uh, we have students coming from the five continents. We try, when it's possible, not to have predominant countries. So we're having students coming from all over the world, but they cannot build communities within their own nationality. That means that they will have to share their day-to-day -day life in the campus with other nationalities. So I would imagine Romanian students meeting with Saudi Arabian students or Chinese students or for with Mexican or Argentinian students. And as we work a lot in group works, then they will also have to team for their own uh, study pathway. So they will have a business project that would, they will share and have to work with all those different cultures. Business-wise, it's very interesting also, but not only they will hear about different cultures such as food, music, uh, behavior, but they will also understand how business works in each and every country. So yes, we like that diversity and that's part of our DNA. But it's also, I think it's very important as well, the fact that they are going to have connections. So after I graduate the university, I have connection from um, different countries if I want to open a business or maybe if I want to get a job in a certain country. And this is important. And not to mention as well the fact that I know, as far as I know from the student lives, they, they have like kind of like free holidays because if you have like a student, a friend who is like from the other part of the country, of the, the world, they, they usually they say, if you want, come to me like this summer and next summer you're coming to me and so on. So I think that real life is all about networking. It's very important in business, of course. So as you mentioned, if today, if tomorrow I will have to open an office in Saudi Arabia, well, I've been with the Saudi Arabia friends in my class and he will help me to do that. But yes, of course, what is important also, if they just want to travel around and uh, meet other cultures, visit other countries, it's so easy, they can pick up their phones, today it's WhatsApp or Instagram of course, and ask the Mexican friends if they can host them and make them visit Mexico. So yes, this is very interesting to be with all those different nationalities. And also speaking about networking and nationalities, I know that you have the Alumni Association, and when they graduate from you, or while they are a student at your school, they, can, they have access to this Alumni Association. Tell me more about um, this association group, what so does it mean? The first networking they will have is with their teammates from the same year. Then they will have also the teammates from Bachelor 2 and Bachelor 3. Then they will also teammate with the Masters 1 and Masters 2. And above, on the whole, uh, we are now having almost 30 years of existing, so 30 years of teaching business and 30 years of having uh, students coming from all, all over the world. That means that at any time, I think now we have had students from all over the world. I think there's not a single country that we don't have an alumni. So yes, if they want to contact one of those alumni to visit or just to make business in one of those countries, the, uh, the network is completely open to them. What is the profile of the student that you get admitted? Like, how should I be to be, to be, to be admitted to Geneva? Be smart. No, we want, of course, the students to be uh, good in academics. So in our requirements, we do ask for bachelor students to have completed high school and to have the diploma from high school. It can be international diploma or national diploma for Romania. The baccalaureate is very fine. But we're not going to look at the grades because once again, we don't want to have researchers. We want to have business people. So we're going to look first, of course, a little bit about, about academics, but it's a blend with attitude, mindset. So we want those students to be very open-minded and to be very motivated. This is what we need in business. But I know that in the admission process, you they need as well a project and an interview. 
something so, like that? To be precise, so yes, there's an academic interview that's going to take place. So that's a 20-30 minutes interview in English, of course. But in the documents that we need when they apply, there's a case study. That's mandatory. Careful. Uh, that case study is about a real company having real problems. We're going to ask them to send us a little memo, more or less 500 words, written by them and not ChatGPT, please. And it, once we have read that case study, after, during the interview, we're also going to ask them questions on that case study. But how do you know, you said I know ChatGPT, but how do you know that a student is using ChatGPT or not? Very easy. Well, first of all, we have also scanning um, softwares okay. uh, to read the, the memo. But also when we ask questions, if everything has been done by ChatGPT, well, it's going to be very easy. When asking questions, they will not be able to, during the interview, of course. I got it. So it's not forbidden to use ChatGPT. We all do use ChatGPT every day. I do use ChatGPT. Mm -hmm. But we want them also to understand how to use ChatGPT. ChatGPT is a tool. It's not the end of it. Got it. I know also about your school that you have small size classes and this is something particular for your school. Oh, what, thank you. What, what does it mean? And um, Because there are also other schools that they are saying that they are a small size, but they have like 50 students in the classroom. So what does it mean for you to be small size and what is the benefit of the students? We are very small, really small. Um, just to give you a picture of it and thank you for raising that question. Uh, we have 600 students more or less uh, on the three campuses. So that means in average, if you're not too bad in maths, that means that every campus has more or less an average 200 students. 200 is small. What are the benefits? Many, for me, many benefits. You were talking about the class size. So our um, ratio is one teacher for 12 students. What is the benefit? Well, uh, faculty members can have personal attention for each and every student. Also, they can go faster and deeper in every topic they learn. But not only that on academics, it's also good for uh, the atmosphere that we have on our campuses. Everybody knows everybody, so uh, the bachelor knows the masters, they can interact and help each other, but also the staff and the students know each other. What is not good if those students want to, um, let's say, mess around a little bit, or if they're not working hard enough, we'll know it. And they cannot hide from us for that. So it can be a good thing or a bad thing according to how motivated and how hard worker they are. Okay, so um, I, I, because I've been to you this year and it yes. felt like being in a business, like in a business, um, like, like I, I felt like being in my own office, <laughs> something like that. You have a nice office <laughs> when, then. <laughs> and I saw that like in, a, in the family, I, I felt as well like the family atmosphere, a cozy. So it's small, so we don't have many space. We have a thousand square meters more or less for each and every campus. And the atmosphere that you felt is because as we ask our students to work in projects all together, when they get out of class, you will see them very often be in the lounge or be in classrooms if the classrooms are free and work together. So we'll have all those laptops open and we have those students brainstorming and having interaction between them. So yes, it gives like, uh, like a business atmosphere, but in a cozy, uh, in a cozy um, office. If you want to study business and to be a business person afterwards, to start your own company or to maybe take over or to have like a, like a very good position in the future, um, some students they are asking to go to a bigger school or to a smaller school. Um, from my point of view, so there are pluses and minuses to each of the schools, but um, this is like very being very cozy and being cozy in the idea of the taking being more individual and more personalized approach then they can take more from the university if they want and if they are hard working also i want to ask you about the ranking like how is the reputation of the school because if you are a private school it's an investment and as a parent if i would be a parent i would want to know that my investment has a return so what can you tell me about this Okay, we have a ranking because today, as you just mentioned, is something that everybody would look at. So we have one. Uh, we're number 50th in business schools across the world. So it's not that bad for a small school. Uh, the, the, we have been ranked by CEO World Magazine. That's an executive and business magazine, a worldwide magazine. Now I just want to add something about rankings. 
I know it's important, but it's very complicated to trust those uh, rankings and there are so many of them. So just be careful about the rankings. Don't just look at it. Uh, please meet the people in the school. If you can, meet also the faculty members. Go and visit the campuses. I think that's the best way to have a good opinion, more than ranking. So they can visit you? Uh, please. Our doors are open. We don't have a strictly open days because we know that students come from all over the world, so we're not going to ask an Indian student to come at the same time as a Romanian student. They don't have holidays at the same time. So whenever they are available with the parents or without the parents, they can come to us. They just need to send us an email saying, I'm coming, and we can host them at the airport or at the train station, come and visit the campus. Yes, it's really recommended. Christian, I don't have any other questions for you. I would like to, um, actually, I want to ask you about why to study in Geneva as a, or Barcelona or Madrid, like or this in these cities, like what is a, would be a plus? So, first thing is studying abroad. It could be Geneva, Madrid or Barcelona, or even Munich or Rome. The thing is, try to go abroad to visit other cultures, to, to be out of your comfort zone, as you mentioned. So, Say bye-bye to dad and mom and try to live your own life. I know it can be tough. And why Geneva, Barcelona, or Madrid? Well, also depending on the major that you would choose, some cities are more adequate for those majors. Uh, just an example, quick example. If you want to study international finance, come to Geneva. Why? Because Geneva is the capital of private banking. So all the banks are and asset managers are in Geneva. So if you want to study international, international finance, sorry, you will be able to visit and network with all those major banks and asset managers, and we'll help you for that. Great. So it seems that if I want to study at Geneva, if I'm a student and I want to study at Geneva, it seems that I have all the instruments needed in order to be successful. It just uh, depends on me how much I'm going to take. So you are offering me like all these instruments. So depending on me, if I will grab the opportunity. Yes, right. it's up to you. The success is in your hand, not in ours. We'll give you the tools, but you will be the, um, the own engine for your success. Nice. Thank you very much, Christian, for um, this uh, lovely conversation. Merci. <laughs> Merci beaucoup, Léa. Merci. Merci à tous. And um, if you want to find out more about what does it mean to get admitted uh, to Geneva Business School or just to find more about the university or to get in touch with the school, then we are here for you at Student Consulting. And um, my call to action for you is uh, to start um, researching what is the school that is suitable for you? If um, you want to develop a business mindset and if you want to study in an environment where to have all this networking of people to help you build up your career, then Geneva Business School might be a very good option for you. See you in the next, um, in the next episode and if you have any comments, I'm here to answer for you. Merci beaucoup, Lia. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you, everybody.